Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Math 10C, Chapter 6, Section 2, Slope Intercept Form of the Equation, Part 2. Now that we've done it on the graph and uh, drawn graphs on the graphing calculator again, here, let's do some coming up on the equation and graphing it. So here's a graph here, this first one. Write an equation given the graph. Well, y equals mx plus b, our b value, our y-intercept is minus 1, and our slope, sorry, I drew it the other way last time, my rise, 3, my run, is 1, so m equals rise, and for run, 3 over 1, which is just 3, so this is y equals 3x minus 1. So grab your graphing calculator and graph it, y1 equals 3x minus 1, and look at the graph. Do you get the same sort of graph? Now you have to be careful because it's difficult to tell just by the depending on your windows and all that. So do that second graph table of values. Table of values and look. You see x, y, you see here. We have 0 and minus 1. Here we have 1 and 2. And here we have x is 2 and y is 5. If we have those same tables of values on your graph, on your calculator, as with this graph, we know we have the correct equation. Okay? So, y equals mx plus b. Sorry, I apologize. You should pause the recording check that, make certain you have the correct table of values, and seriously guys, pause the recording, check it. You have to know how to do this, this is real important, you're going to be doing this an awful lot in the rest of the class, in the course, and in math 20-1, and you're going to do a lot of it in math 30. So pause the recording and check. Alright, welcome back. Now, here we have a B value of 4, and a slope rise and a run of 3. So that's our m value. So this is y is 2 thirds x sorry plus 4. So graph that and then do this look at the table of values. New equation, new table of values. We only have two points here. So it's 0 and 4 and 3 and 6. But if we get those two points on our table of values, then we know we have the correct graph, or we have the correct equation for the graph. So once again, put it in your calculator, graph it, check the table of values. Pause the recording, because I'm not going to sit here dead air waiting for you. All right. So, moving on. Welcome back, I should say. Parents of the wrestling team rent a hall for a fundraiser. The relationship between the number of tickets sold X and the profit Y in dollars may be represented by the equation. 18, uh, sorry, 12x minus y minus 840 equals 0. What's the slope of the line and what does the slope represent? And you're going, what the heck? But look at, the gra look at it carefully. 12x minus y minus 840 equals 0. What do we want? We want it to be y equals. So how do we get rid of 12x? Well, we subtract 12x from both sides, and we add 840, so then the equation becomes minus y equals minus 12x plus 840. Now, we're almost there. It's minus y. We got to go to the minus 1. How do we do that? Multiply everything by minus 1. Then that's y equals 12 x minus $840. Okay, now I did that kind of quickly, but all I did was rearrange the equation so it's y equals. And here I want to point out the slope is 12. Okay, now what does that mean? Well, we're dealing with tickets sold and money. That's probably $12 per ticket. Okay. Now, $12 per ticket, that makes sense. 
Identify the y-intercept. What does it represent? Well, we just had the equation here. y equals 12x minus 840. So, we're starting at minus $840, which is probably the cost of renting the hall. So think about it for a sec. I guess it said back here, rent a hall. So that's $840. Ouch. How many tickets must the parents sell to reach the break-even point? Hmm, that's a very good question. Let's change colors here. Hang on, I'll increase my I've done it. Okay, so the break-even point. Profit. So why is the profit so break even y equals zero? So zero equals twelve x minus eight hundred and forty. So here we're rearranging the equation to solve for x. So we want to get x all by itself, so I would add eight hundred and forty to both sides. So 840 equals 12x. So, then I divide both sides by 12 to get x all by itself. Now, what is 840 divided by 12x? Mm. 70. So, 70 tickets must be sold. Okay. Now, if you wanted to graph this, and you certainly could, this is y1 equals 12x minus 840. Now, the problem with graphing this is you really got to change your windows. Minus 840 is down here. x is 70, so you're really going to make a big window here. But we will practice that in class. Or you can pause the recording and play with the windows here. And actually, that's a very good question because, or a very good thing to point out, because I want you to realize x minimum is zero. You cannot have a negative number of students. x max, in this instance, I don't know. 100, 200 kids? Say 200. Now, y min must be minus 840. What's y max? Actually, sorry. Let me move this up. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. Why max? I don't know. Here you'd have to look at your table of values. A thousand? Two thousand? You want to make some money. But you play with the windows on your graphing calculator and tell me what works. All right? So pause the recording, do that, and then we'll come back and finish the last question. All right, welcome back. Moving on to the last set of questions. Submarines must withstand tremendous pressure from the water. The table shows the linear relationship between pressure and water depth. Pressure depth, x, pressure, y. So, 0 meters, 100 kilopascals. 25 meters, 350 kilopascals. So, so looking at our graph here, this is going to be x, which is depth meters. This is going to be a y-axis pressure in kilopascals. So, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 20, 30, 40, 60. Notice I'm not labeling every line. It gets too messy. Now, pressure. Um, we start at 0, we go to 50. 
Now, I can hear somebody going, do we have to start here at zero, or can we start at 100 because that's the smallest number? It doesn't matter. We can start at 100 if it makes it easier to fit on the graph. So I'm going 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to start at zero just because I want to. 200, 400, 600, 800. All right. So here, 0 and 100, 25 and 200, 300, 350, 40, 45, 50, and 600, and I, yes, I realize I got that in the wrong spot. So that is 25, that's 300, and 25, 50. Sorry, this is my head that doesn't quite look right, but anyway, 60, 70, 75 is here. 850. No, oh, sorry. I did screw that up. 350 is here. Never mind. Ugh. Learn to count, Mr. Sutton. It's so helpful if your math teacher could count. Anyway, here we go. So there's a graph of the data, even though I did muck it up. What's the slope of the line? Well, Slope is change in x, change in y. Said it's linear, so I only need one spot. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I arbitrarily chose the first two points. So 350 and 100 for y. For x, it's 25 minus 0. Sorry. Going back and forwards fairly quickly. I apologize for that. I'm just old and I can't remember the values. So this is 250 over 25, which is 10. Okay, you guys saw how that came about? Now B. B is my y-intercept. When x is 0 y is 100. So that's my b value, 100. Okay? Write an, write an equation. Um, y equals mx plus b or y equals 10x plus 100. Now, I'm supposed to do this in pressure, which is y, and water depth x. So I'm supposed to go p equals 10d plus 100. Okay? Now you notice I did it this way, because instinctively that's what I do on a graphing calculator. If I had to graph it on a graphing calculator, that's what it would say. y equals 10x plus 100. Now, the deepest point on Earth is the Challenger Deep in the Mar Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. In 1960, the research submarine Trest reached the bottom of the Challenger Deep. At this depth, the walls protected the crew had to withstand a pressure of 109,300 kilopascals. What's the approximate depth? Now that's Y, which is uh, pressure. So what was it? P equals 10X plus 100. Oh, sorry, 10D. So it's 109,300 equals 10D plus 100. Subtract 100 from both sides. 109,200 equals 10D. And divide both sides by 10. 
10,920 meters deep, or 10.9 kilometers. Strength 10,920 meters deep, or 10.9 kilometers. Straight down. That's a lot. And there's stuff living down there. Anyway, that's it for me for 6.2. Can you come up with the equation y equals mx plus b? And can you graph it on your graphing calculator? Yes. All right. And if you wanted to, you can go grab your graphing calculator. You can put this in and scroll down to uh, find your y. Sorry, scroll down to 10,920 on for x. I wouldn't suggest because life is too short. Anyway, see me in class and I will show you a sneaky shortcut for that. Until then, if you've got any questions, watch the video again, ask. Otherwise, good luck. Go do the classwork.